the play fake. Here's Jackson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. Play action. Now Jackson rolling to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. On third down, Jackson. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Could almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Second and ten. Jackson from the shotgun. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Ronald Blair. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of ten. On the move to his left. That's complete to the running back, Naheem Hines. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. Josh Lambeau on for the field goal. A 38-yard attempt. The kick by Lambeau is good, and the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. From his end zone, Travis Homer. No return here for Homer. It's a touchback, and they'll bring it out to the 25. First and ten, here's Murray. They'll roll, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Murray, and they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Play action. Now it's Murray. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Julian O'Quara charging hard from that linebacker spot, and he drops him for a loss of 11. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21.
Another try after the first down sack. Murray. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Okuda. Keep in mind, he had the three interception game last week, so we requested to talk with him this week. He was all smiles. He's still all smiles. Yeah, we didn't jinx him at all, did we? No. Because ordinarily that happens, uh, <laughs> things fall off, but not in this case. I think a lot of it goes back to his technique. His ability to see the quarterback throw the ball while understanding where the receiver is running his route allows him to make a lot of plays on the football, and he's taking it away at a really high rate. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Play action. It's Jackson. But he's got his target, Harris. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 23 yards to pick up there. And they had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Now Jackson sliding out of the pocket. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. Jackson will throw again. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. We always talk about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. You know, you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every... Murray has it knocked loose. Fumble. And the Raiders pick it up. And they'll have great field position here as the ball will be at the 15-yard line. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack. Put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so... Oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. They'll try to run with Hines. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Second and goal. The Chiefs, six yard on second and goal, Jackson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Throwing is Jackson. He'll buy some time right. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Cole Komet, his fifth touchdown now on the year. 
quarter. And the Raiders add on to their lead. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. Touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. From his end zone, Travis Homer. No return here for Homer. It's a touchback, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Uh, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And, Charles, you, you wonder about this defense coming in. I mean, look, it's no secret they're playing a team that's down on its luck right now. Losers of five straight. How does that change how you prepare for a game? Well, to me, the first thought is you just get after them early, right? Take away any chance of them building any confidence. But the second thing is you prepare a little bit differently. You've got to expect this team to take chances, go for it on third and fourth downs, run a lot of trick plays, anything to try and break their losing streak. So you must stay alert and stay aware. Throwing on first down is Murray. Looking for Campbell downfield. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Paris Campbell hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And that'll make it 13-7. Makes the score Raiders 13, Chiefs 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Five and three, their record at the halfway point. And you have to imagine that there are folks saying, hey, if we do that again in the second half, we're 10 and six and we're a playoff team. I do think, though, that they have a couple things working against them. And number one, the schedule, that's going to toughen up a bit because they've got some division games down the stretch, and those are always difficult. Number two, you know they've got to stay healthy. That's the key to getting to the playoffs and winning in the playoffs. But they've got a shot at it. This is a good football team. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. From the 35, back to work on second and four. They go play action now. Jackson eluding the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. They go play action with Jackson. Flushed out right. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. 
And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Murray looking for Campbell downfield. He's got a man complete. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Flush to his right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. He gets this complete to Cephas. And it's a fumble. And the Raiders pick it up. We have seen this before. And we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. After the fumble recovery, it's Jackson. That ball caught by Slayton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover and put their defense in a bad spot, but not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. They'll throw on first down with Jackson, escaping the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Jackson. He'll get that complete to his tight end commit. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 29-yard line. Give him 18 on the play. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. To throw again is Jackson. And that is incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. To throw is Jackson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jamel Dean. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, 
not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? On play action, it's Murray. Rolling to his right. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Murray a give. This is Connor. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't have a break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. throw to Ebron and he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds a pickup of five that time and a first down shotgun now for Murray that he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Marlon Davidson able to take him down. It's a loss of three. After the sack on first down, Murray... That ball complete to Isabella. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Throwing now is Murray. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Santos on for the field goal. A 49-yard attempt. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And that will cut the lead back down to three at 13 to 10. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. He was solid on the field goal, but not as solid on the kickoff there. And that'll put him at the 40-yard line to start this drive.
So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Jackson now. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed, and he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. So we have reached halftime here in Vegas with the Raiders on top. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both teams making their final adjustments before we get started once again. And for the call of the second half, let's send you back out to Allegiant Stadium and Brandon God. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? Well, paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks, I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Yitor Gross Matos. In there to get him. That is the sixth time that they have sacked him tonight. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Murray into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 14. And he takes this one back into the end zone and the Raider defense delivers a score. A big play there by the rookie. An interception followed by the return for six points. If you want to be accepted by your teammates and coaching staff, make plays like that. Lambeau on for the extra point. The PAT up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. So the extra point good, and the roughing call going to move the ball out to the 50 for the kickoff. And I think this is a good chance to pin them deep if you can land the kickoff inside the five-yard line or so. Gain some field position for your defense. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. going to set him back five yards. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Murray now. They'll roll him out right. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now, 
is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Murray off play action. Rolling to his left. Now he'll square up and throw deep left sideline. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. team on now as this one's sent away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown. Darius Slayton, his second touchdown on the season. And the Raiders are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find them at the wide receiver position, and that was special there. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. You know, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Sliding out of the pocket. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. That is now seven. Seven interceptions between last week and this week. Three in this game, four a week ago. And I saw the head coach write on his play sheet, make a little note. I hope he's writing self-scout. Bring in the guys that scout games for you with a different eye and watch him and see what's going on and maybe they can pick up what the flaws are and hopefully they can correct them. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. To throw again on second down. Jackson flushed out right. 
Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hines. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Give him 32 on the play. Frankly, I don't know that this defense knows what to do anymore. Just look at their body language out there. The passing game has absolutely been relentless throughout. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. And it's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Darius Slayton. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Raiders get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And the lead is now 24. the touchdown he'll kick this one away from his end zone Travis Homer no return here for Homer it's a touchback and they'll bring it out to the 25 The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Third quarter from Southern Nevada. Here's a second and ten. On the handoff, Connor. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. going to throw and for the fourth time tonight it's an interception picked off at the 36 and they take possession of the football and have it at the 36 yard line so first and 10 and if they score on this drive might have to start digging in our second half blowout material they'll buy some time right He's going to fire one, corner of the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. And incomplete on the deep ball. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play, unable to connect in that attempt. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And he's got his target, Harris. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Again, Jackson. This will be caught at about the five. Touchdown, Raiders! A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the silver and black continue to roll. Brandon, is there any way you and I can join this quarterback in the zone he's in? He's absolutely feeling it. Touchdown after touchdown, throwing the ball. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And the lead will swell by one more. 
And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. From his end zone, Travis Homer. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try to put points on the board. The drive will start with Connor, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Murray. Flush to his right. And now here's another interception. Picked off at the 30. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost as if they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game? Well, they've said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. Escaping the pressure right. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 25 yards that time. First and goal at the 5-yard line. Now Jackson, eluding the pressure right to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good, four is excellent. <laughs> you get five, that's a whale of a game. of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal Jackson from the shotgun being chased out left and this is caught touchdown Raiders Cole Komet a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game and the Raiders take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in Extra point tacked on by Lambo, and that will extend this big lead. And Lambo now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw is Murray. And that is intercepted! Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Murray. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 40, and the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. 
He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. Hey, it's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you, but that worked really well last week because he had made that run to the end zone. This week, he got the Oski, maybe not a touchdown, but, boy, he's playing really well. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. And now we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? Where everything is working for them, every move they make works, it clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Play action. It's Jackson. Going for it all. And it's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Darius Slayton there to make the grab. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. From his end zone, Travis Homer. No return here for Homer. It's a touchback, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You got over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far... Just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Able to power through, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. to throw it's Murray on the right side caught by Green and now look at him go and all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown well we know that he can beat you in a number of ways he can catch it short he can take it long or he can do what we just saw right there catch it and then run with a football yeah and that was sheer determination right there he decided before the play if there was a sliver he was going to take advantage of it. Looked the ball in, turned on the Jets, and took it all the way. Santos with the extra point as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Take it in at the three. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The 
points for Las Vegas, about set to begin the drive. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because... And the defense loses him. It's complete. Touchdown. Darius Slayton, 82 yards. And the Raiders are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, for Lamar Jackson, we know all about how dangerous he is running the football, but he can really sling it as well. And he connects on a big one there. And I'm telling you, nothing will light up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receiver streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. Flushed out. And a big loss here as he's taken down. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And now here's another interception. Picked off at the 19. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Raider defense delivers a score. Defensively, they've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even more lopsided. I remember talking with a guy in the league. And I said, what do you do when the game's like this? You know, it's pretty much over. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. <laughs> you like being out there at the end of these wide margins. When they have to throw it, that gives you more opportunities to go get it. From his end zone, Travis Homer. No return here for Homer. It's a touchback, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six. Put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. The Chiefs on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven at this point. This is third and eight. From the gun, Murray. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it will still bring up a fourth down. But there was pressure all around him, so the only play was to try and get out of there. I think it was an excellent effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10.
The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was very really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. They'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. gun Jackson dancing to his left now he'll let it go on the run deep left side that's caught inside the 20. 